Fellas, first off, I'd like to thank you for the support on the Udyr video. I don't really do those kinds of videos anymore, mostly because <laughs> Rai doesn't make reworks anymore. But it got me thinking. Udyr was a great rework, but there's been a lot of reworks in the past. And I found out recently that a lot of you are League Zoomers. Many of the champions that have been reworked, a good chunk of you don't even know that they were reworked. So this is what we're gonna do today. I've assembled a list of every single VGU in League's history, with a few exceptions. So let's take a look back. Which ones were done well, which ones were done really well, and which ones were... Rise. These are the best reworks in League of Legends history. So we, we went in order, so we'll start with the, a very controversial champion, which is Aatrox. Aatrox. And I feel like I'm gonna be put on the fucking barbecue for this. Aatrox is not terrible. Aatrox is good. Because the new gameplay, is it similar to Riven? Yes. But he plays completely differently to Riven. And I think we forget. You guys remember when Kane came out? At the moment Kane came out, the Darken were still aliens. The Darken were not figured out until Aatrox. Aatrox was when the Darken retcon happened. And that was f***ing amazing. Aatrox <laughs> did get removed from the game. You want to know what's really funny? But I need to get in a custom game for this. Um... You see this Aatrox dance, right? Look at this dance. See, his sword was like an extendable sword. So you ever notice Aatrox's dance looks kind of weird? Why is the sword doing that? And his joke, too. They just... They didn't give him a new joke or taunt. They just used the same one. Alright, Akali. Akali is good. She's like Aatrox, except in like a different way. Everything that's not gameplay for a Akali is like 10 out of 10. Gameplay is... Ooh! <laughs> for the fellows who don't know, Akali Shroud, when the rework first came out, she could shroud under turrets. She was invisible to towers. I, I don't know how anyone thought that was good, and then I remember that certainly T was the person who designed it. So, that's how oh, this makes sense. All right, Doctor Mundo. I can't put Mundo at perfect, but Mundo's great. Again, I, I've talked about Mundo at length multiple yeah. times. The two main issues with Mundo is that, well, one is gameplay is a little bit too similar to old Mundo, and the other one is that, again, there's too much going on about him. That, that It felt like the people who were working on Mundo had wildly different ideas for what they wanted him to be like. Like, his lore paints him as a more tragic character. Design is more like, oh, we want to make him monstrous, but we want to make him a bit more generally appealing. And then his in-game is like, he's a horrible like goofball comedy character and then his theme is like a horror movie character it's a bit of a mess in that regard but it still comes together fairly well in the end that i just i love this guy i'd say i think he's great i don't think i can think of anything wrong with evelyn actually i think i think evelyn's might be perfect it's really really well done how is she before oh there she is there's all that <laughs> see and that's why new evelyn is cool right because new Evelyn is like very intentionally made to be sexy, but it works for the character and it feels like it has purpose. This. What is this? This feels like a very bad, like someone took spark notes of World of Warcraft and that's what they came up with was this. And they kept a lot of what made old Evelyn old Evelyn intact, like the invisibility, the execute, the spammable cue, even the healing. It's just in a different part of her kit. Camouflage and invisibility were not two separate things. They are one and the same. Eve was like that. Eve could be on top of you and fully invisible. You just stack sunfire capes, you'd be invisible on top, and they'd just be burning to death. And you can't do anything about it. So the, the camouflage change was really good. But yeah, I, I think Evelyn's perfect. I don't know what I'd change about her. I just think she's really well done. Ezreal. So I think people forget that he wasn't just a visual update. They did change his gameplay. His W was a completely different ability. You remember the old Ezreal W? His old W was worthless unless you scale with AP. It was a skill shot. It was basically his Q, but his Q went through minions and granted attack speed. That that was it. It was terrible. I still think Ezreal was good. He he didn't change very much visually. It was more like like a weird hybrid ASU rework, but it was still good. All right. Well, 
I'll give you. Oh, oh boy, I wonder where fiddlesticks goes. Oh boy, I. It's a mis Really, what a mystery. Who who could guess the trailer? You guys remember the trailer for fiddlesticks? Oh my God. The forest protects us all. <laughs> I wouldn't classify that as protection, but, you know. <laughs> you guys want to see something really cool, too? Fiddlesticks' voice was done with zero filter. End of men! First of ten! Guy's fucking incredible, dude. That's to be Fiddlesticks has no voice filters. It's it's just Kellen Goff just, like, being an incredible voice actor. Fiora. I don't... I don't think she's terrible. Does anyone even know what old Fiora does? This was old Fiora. Yeah, th this was her old ult. Fiora's it was just like, it was Master EQ boss. on steroids. That doesn't look that crazy, but that did nuts damage later on. Yeah, she, she was still a piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing they kept about her the same, right? She's still a piece of shit. Her design was just so weird. They made her look way more Demas in the rework. I just think like, I don't know, it was just the gameplay is so toxic and still French. Damn, you're right, she's French! Oh man, you know what, I had a friend terrible, she's French. It is always morally correct to bully French people and bully British people. That one didn't age quite so well. Galio. I definitely, he definitely can't go in perfect. He's good though. Galio's good. I can't put him in great because he's like he's like Aatrox where they went too far gameplay wise. Lore and design are f awesome though. Like the, the what they did visually into his lore are amazing. Gameplay was like I, I think this from? style of rework is out of STF time now. French. But to be fair, this in no world where Demacia be like yeah. Yeah, sure, Galio. Yeah, be be in our place. You think Demacia would be accepting of that? Get the f out, man. New Galio is like perfectly Demacian though. Gangplank. Gangplank's pretty fucking sick. You know anything off about the Gangplank champion spotlight? Classic Gangplank. This was p given to us as classic Gangplank. Gone and then a week into the event, he died. And then he was gone for like another week. And then he came back. And then if, if you played Gangplank before he air quote died, then you got Captain Gangplank for free. Easily, yeah, top five best events they've ever done with Burning Tides. And the rework itself is really cool. I think he's way over two now, but that's the item's fault. So obviously I'm super biased against Irelia. For the guys who don't know, Irelia this is my permaban, but I think if Akali is in good, then Irelia has to be in good too. For the same reasoning, that everything besides the gameplay is great. God, this character infuriates me beyond all reasonable doubt. I'll group all these guys together, because these guys aren't so much as reworks as much as they were like... These are like the first renditions of updating a champion. I hesitate to put Sejuani on here actually because Sejuani was just like a model upgrade. Sejuani put some clothes on and that's where it ended. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, that's what um, that's what these traditional skins are. Uh, except for Lee Sin because this is what Lee Sin was going to look like originally. But the reason why traditional skins exist is because back in the day when these three got reworked, um, if you own the champion prior to the champion getting this rework or visual upgrade, you get the traditional skin for free. It was a playable time capsule of the old champion. And I wish they'd continued that. Like, imagine like a traditional Swain or traditional Warwick. Like, it would have been really neat. They stopped doing it after Trundle, though. And uh, Trundle, you think that looks kind of gross? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trundle was the shit troll. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that's what they were. So Karma used to look more like this. To go from this to what we have now, I think Karma was a, a pretty good upgrade. I'd say I'd say Trundle was. I think the the new direction they went for Trundle was amazing. And I'll put Shijuani up there too because they, they it's both like the same thing. They're good. I put Twitch and not good though. I I think his new voice lines are good, but they didn't do anything without like he's still just a rat man. Oh, I had forgotten. <laughs> All right, well, moving on. Kale. Vegetable. Not good. It's not terrible because the new lore is cool, but it's not good. I'll put Morgana in there too, actually. I'll put the sisters together. The weird part about Kale is that old Kale's design makes more sense with her new lore. 
as backwards as that is. Because Kale's whole thing is she, her and Morgana are opposites, where Morgana is like very sympathetic and very um, passionate towards people. She has she has a sense of justice, but in a sense of justice of doing the right thing. Kale has a sense of justice in I am all-knowing, uncompassionate, unmoving justice. And if you sin or whatever the fuck it is she cares about, you fucking die. die. The weird part about it is that you would think if Kale's trying to move away from being human, as she gets stronger, she would appear less human, right? She like, oh, I, I'm not human. But then, like, why is this her final form? They got it reversed. This kind of armor should be her starting form. She should put on more armor and she should appear less human as she becomes stronger because that's what she's trying to go towards. She doesn't want to be mortal. Faces are very important. Like that, that I think that it, the they did this to it. They changed her splash so she doesn't have her eyes. You, you don't know who that is. It immediately becomes more intimidating because there's no face. You're like, oh, what is that? What? what but then, Hello. oh, you're a person. <laughs> oh, okay. Old Kale, ironically, makes more sense. Old Kale did look like she came from a mobile game, though. I, I will admit that looks like a mobile game character for sure. Let's but go. Again, like it makes more like that looks more like. Just a being, like not a person. My thing is that Morgana is supposed to be the opposite of Kale. That dress is way too fucking fa like her outfit should have been a lot more scruff, a lot more dirty, a lot more like because she's like kind of living off the land. She's not using her powers to survive. I thought she like tried to make herself look more like a common folk. You know, if she came walking into a room, you'd think she was royalty when she doesn't want to be that. That's her whole character is she's trying to be the opposite of someone of high importance. Mm, sponge guy. Uh, Mordekaiser. I think is pretty great. I can't put him in, I don't think I can put him in perfect. I think too much of old Mordekaiser's gone. That is, there's like, he's like Aatrox where almost nothing of old old Mordekaiser remains. But like, there there is like a lot to it. Like the, the spinny damage you circle around, the Q slam, the taking someone's ghost basically. Like it's, it's still there. Old Mord I was better. I disagree. I think new Mord Alt is one of one of the coolest abilities in League of Legends. The the one thing I wish that they had done is I think they could have made him not green. green. He has nothing to do with the Shadow Isles. He did before. So he was like a leader of the Shadow Isles, and then when they reworked him, he has nothing to do with it at all. All right, Nunu and Willump. I mean, like. Fucking perfect. Oh, they make me smile every time. And I, I did love uh, old Nunu. I still have memories of when Lee came out, I was living out in the country and I had really bad internet access. And so most of the time if I wanted to play actual Lee games, like when I started actually playing versus people, this was around the time Sion came out. I just played bots and stuff up until Sion came out because I had horrible internet. But when I actually started playing against people, I just go to the library <laughs> And I play AP Nunu. And I was sad that he was getting reworked because I loved old Nunu. Just because, but he was just, he was a troll. That's all he did. He didn't do anything. What a fantastic rework. The, the songs, the visuals, the lore, everything about it was just amazing. I, I, again, I sh All right. Just give me a, give me a, there. Yeah. I think we, uh. The best theme in League of Legends history. That's still the best one. Having Akshan and Viego shirtless means nothing, really. It doesn't do anything. It's there for sex appeal and nothing else. Pantheon being shirtless is part, it's storytelling. Not only because he's a god and you have that aspect about him, well, he's basically a god, and you can see that with his helmet, he takes it off, he has his godlike powers, the flame, the sparkly cape, but there's humanity under there and you see the human skin, and you see the scar. He has weakness, he has humanity. Pantheon is just fucking awesome. I, they kept Pantheon perfectly intact. He basically is the same champion, just like upgraded. All right, Poopy. I have PTSD from this character in multiple ways. I, Poppy's like Aatrox, or Poppy is nothing like old Poppy. Yeah, I, I like the new Poppy. I don't love the new Poppy though. I, I think she's good. What was old Poppy like? Okay. <laughs> there she is. 
This was real. You could purchase this for money. You know what's one thing that always bothered me about Poppy? Ignorance can be funny. Or, or being humble, I guess. Poppy is very humble, right? Because she doesn't believe that she's the hammer. But like, I think Poppy takes it a bit. It's like, it's so obvious she's the hero and everyone tells her she's the hero. And she's like, what? No, it couldn't possibly be me. And then like, thwarts back an entire army by herself. No, guys, it's not me. All right, well, Rise. This is Rise rework number three billion and two. If we're going off the most recent incarnation, it'd be this. If we're going off the initial time when he got his uh, VGU, it'd be here. So when Ryze got VGU'd initially, I really liked it. Like, you guys can probably see I have um, Ryze Mastery 7. I played Ryze a shit ton when he got reworked. It was like, man, this character's kind of cool. I want to learn this character. And I spent ages learning the character, learning the combos, learning everything. And then they did that mini rework to him. And now he has no combos anymore. Years of academy training wasted! And then because of pro play too, that's another thing, is because Ryze was very abusable in pro play. Okay guys, this character's very problematic for pro play. So when we rework him, what are we gonna do? I know, let's give him an alt that's literally completely and only abusable in pro play. <laughs> Makes no sense. But I do like his, like, the, the world runes is very cool. I like that his lore with Brand is great. Gameplay, and he's never been that interesting in terms of design. He's like any Warcraft character, you know, stick him in World of Warcraft, you wouldn't really notice the difference. All right, Scion. So Scion was the first, like the first true big VGU sign was the first. In that aspect, I put him in good. Again, he's like a Galio situation where we lost old Scion. Although, all right, who, who knows what old Scion looks, or who doesn't know what old Scion looks like, rather. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, look at that character. What do you think he sounds like? Whoever was thinking, um, yeah, it's he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm dead. Get on my chopper. What does this have to do with anything? Uh, who, who else had like a really funny old voice line on here? All right, we'll do, cause Swain's up next. We'll do Swain. My bird is hungry. I'm very hungry. So Swain, I can't put Swain in perfect. If a champion who got a VGU has had to have been uh, mini rework twice. They probably were not perfect, <laughs> but I I really really like New Swain. New Swain is just so cool. They, they changed him because old Swain's thing was he was the battle tactician. That was his thing, but he didn't he didn't do anything. So they, they changed him from the master tactician to the grand general of Noxus, and it was just ah feels like an actual leader. Like he actually belongs in Noxus now. Swain has probably some of the best voice lines in League. The more they try to kill me, the more they reveal I am on the right path. Fucking cool. Functional and stylish. Stop. Old Tarek was, I think his name was the Gem Knight, right? That was his thing. And I don't remember whether he was an alien or from an alternate dimension. It was one of those things. But he, he was not from Runeterra. He was just the Gem guy. So Tarek, Tarek's pretty great. He still kept a lot of old Tarek. Maybe I put like top of good. Cause he's kind of stuck in the middle. He's stuck in the middle of being an engaged support and being a an enchanter. Tristano. I think Tristano was back in the days when, again, like they didn't know what Yordles were. Tristano was just like some kind of fucking goblin thing. There she is. And then when, th when they were doing the big flash art rework, when they, in season four or five, they did that. So. Her new splash art was just heavily based on the on the reworked one. All right, the most recent one, Udir. Yeah, U Udir's fucking great. I was saying Udir's great when there's like a great tier, but now nah, Udir's perfect. They literally they hot fix buff Tiger Stance, and now it's viable. Like they that's it was just some numbers. It's just the damage was low. They said they fix attack. Oh, that was one thing. They said they wouldn't fix the tattoos because of visual clarity. Visual clarity. This is the new Lee Sin skin. Visual clarity is only a factor if your champion is not popular. Ergot. I think, so he's not the level of these, I, I think he's in great. Cause he still does retain a lot of old Ergot. He feels like what Ergot was supposed to be. Old Ergot looked great too. Uh, uh. <laughs> You know, to each their own. Riot tried to charge money for this. They tried to charge money for this. Money! Oh my god. 
He's a little bit too edgy, where it's it's like it, he's kind of like silly, especially when you're walking around with crab legs. You know, he's like he's like a weird like silly edgy character. He's still good though. Volley bear bias. Bias, bias, yep, bias. So I played a shit ton of old Volley Bear, so I was very excited hey that he was getting a rework, and I was not disappointed, not at all. It's fantastic. The one, the only thing I'll, I have a knock against Volley Bear for is it's a very small thing. So Volley Bear is very much of the old ways. You know, he he believes that the way to a prosperous life, or the way that people should be living, is off the land in the wild I'm like animals and I, I was talking about this before so some people might already get this yeah it's the braids and the earring why does he have an earring and braids like a ponytail why why would volley bear care about grooming he's a fucking bear no! other than that fantastic warwick all right in my opinion these three these three are the gold standard when i, when I think of like the best vgus of all time these three i think Fiddlesticks is probably like the best one in terms of because I think Fiddlesticks is just really fucking cool. But I think Warwick is just so. It, he's like Fiddlesticks at the end of the day does feel a little bit too similar to the old one, you know? Where he's like, this feels like the same champion. Warwick is such an enigma where he feels like the same champion at the same time like a brand new experience. It's amazing where like you perfectly captured what made Warwick what he was but made something brand new out of it that feels amazing. All right, last one, Yorick. And I feel like I'm gonna get treated sacrilegious for this, but like, Yorick's a, a mess. And I love Yorick, okay? I'm Master 7 on Yorick, I love this guy. But Yorick's a disaster. I think the new lore is really great. I like the new design a lot, it's good. Here's my problem with old Yorick. So imagine your late game Yorick, and let's say you don't have Maiden up. You used Maiden or you sent Maiden to split push. Hello. What do you do? You didn't have time to go set up. You didn't have the 30 seconds to go set up your ghouls and you don't have Maiden. What do you do? You run it, you walk at them, Yay. throw a slow and you... There you go. That's what you've done. That's Yorick's usefulness. And then if you have minions, just wait for Q to come back off cooldown. Still going. Still waiting. Oops. I'll attack the wrong thing. And there we go. Yippee. Any other top hitter can just go in. And when you have Maiden, you're good. Like, Yorick's really strong when he has Maiden, but if he doesn't have Maiden, he doesn't do anything. His thing is being a split pusher, but like, now with Hullbreaker, any other champion can do the same thing Yorick can do, but can be way more useful. And old Yorick, it's not like old Yorick was good, okay? <laughs> uh, let me get that out of the way. This was old Yorick. Yorick is a melee damage dealer who summons minions to do his bidding. <laughs> old Yorick, weirdly enough, you could, so old Yorick was like every ability uh, besides alt spawned a ghoul. So, but the thing is that every time you'd press that ability, you'd spawn the ghoul, right? They had infamously difficult hitbox. Yorick was like Teemo's biggest counter because Teemo couldn't click on the damn ghouls. So <laughs> Yorick would just summon the ghouls and Teemo couldn't click on them. Because Yorick was awful. And that, that, that was his, uh, his ult, by the way, was he'd click on himself or an ally, and he'd make a clone of that clone ally. So he made a clone death. of Blitzcrank, slow the enemy York with and it slowly and dies over time. And then range, if you like died, it was like Chemtech Soul. You'd like you'd come back to life oh, in zombie Street mode. Work. Imagine this: he'd ult the vein. Now your team has two veins, Where did that come and if the from? actual vein Pass died, York. the vein Pass would get York. revived and have like another three seconds to do stuff. And I, I do like New York. Um, I think personally, though. If the ASOL CGU is a rousing success, I nominate Yorick next. Or Alawi. Either of them. And this is coming from someone who plays both of those champions, okay? Like, I'm not just talking out my ass. I play both of these champions. But both of them, kit-wise, are such an absolute mess that I think they Make need some surprise. help, for sure.